I'm Cinder and I welcome back to Let's Play Lunar Silver Star Story. Wow, here we are, Alex! The magical city of Vane! It's beautiful, Alex! Nash said we should find him at the Magic Guild! All we have to do now is find it! <laughs> yeah, all we have to do is find it. Hi! Two of the four heroes, Lamia Asua and Master Galleon, are residents of the Magic Guild. We've never had trouble attracting new recruits to the ranks of the guild with them on the staff. Alex, you admire them almost as much as Dane, as Dine, don't you? Hey, I just realized that means we're going to meet two of your heroes in one day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, first things first, new town, time to go shopping. My armor isn't just tough. It's magically reinforced for your protection. And that it is. You can buy Chainmail here, which not only provides a boost to defense, but also provides a boost to magic endurance. So you can get more protection from physical and magical attacks. There's a magical robe, a magic robe, <laughs> magically delicious, for Luna, although I'm pretty sure it doesn't taste all rainbowy. There's a silver shield, <laughs> better than gold. Well, we'll see about that. That buffs defense a little bit. A silver bracelet, which gives a little more defense. Uh, Luna already has the steel armlet. And nobody can wear the fruity bandana. Very colorful, very colorful attire. Hmm. Interesting. Thanks a bunch, kids. When you have more money to spend, drop it here. We'll grab the equipment in a little bit, but I just want to show you the shop. Magic Guild attracts students of sorcery from all over the world. Lan, Mariba, Tamar, you name it. What? You're from Berg? What's next? Inbred mental midgets from Myriad? Hey, that sounded like some kind of cheap shot. Was it? <laughs> uh, don't think... You, did, you needed the, uh, was it there at the end, no. This is the best item shop in all of Vain. It's also the only one in the city, but hey. As you can see, you don't even have healing herbs anymore. Uh, healing nuts are going to be the healing item of the day. Also, antidote and cleansing water. But you should still have some herbs left over. And if not, healing nuts are going to start being your healing item. They are more expensive, but they do heal more. And with your characters having more HP, that's to be expected that you need a bigger healing item. Moved here from land so my kid could take classes at the Magic Guild. He's going to achieve what we never could. Perhaps I'll be as important as Galleon. Yeah, maybe. My brother and I are the best magicians in land. Uh huh? That's why our parents moved here. All the kids at the Guild are good at magic too. I don't like not being the best, so I have to study all day and night and make sure I'm better than everyone else. <laughs> don't forget that you're still a child. You need to go outside and play once in a while. <laughs> yeah, but that's the right attitude, you know, to, to try to be the best. Hi, where did you come from? I came from the village of Lan. My parents said I have a talent for magic, so they brought me here to study at the guild. But I miss my friends. I don't want to study. I want to go home. Aww. Yeah. Being homesick is not too good. Welcome to the Magic City of Vane. Home of the Magic Guild and Heart of the World. This is where you will you would normally show up from the teleportation at the uh, spring. But since we had to go through the cave, we end up at that other place. Hey, I bet you've heard of the Magic Emperor, haven't you? He's the bad man in charge of the Vile Tribe. I'm gonna punch him in the head until he's my friend. Bam! Pow! Whack! <laughs> he's a feisty one, Alex. Just like you were. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> I've heard all about these stories. I've heard all... I've heard all these stories about the Vile Tribe, but I'm not worried. Why? Because the goddess Althena will protect us as always. 
Yeah, I've been hearing all about this here Vile Tribe. But ain't Althena supposed to have banished them buggers when she came to our world? Hmm, if she should, then why are they back? Guess that goes with all the monsters appearing and... And more. Have you heard of Black Rose Street? It's the most famous section of Mariba. Yeah, we were just there. It's the home of many graduates and uh, business associates of the Magic Guild. Just about all of the items sold there are actually made here in vain. Speaking of items and things made in vain, here at Vane's Weapon Shop, you can purchase weapons that have been magically reinforced. Such as a Saber Dueling Sword which gives a nice attack boost to Alex. You can get a Dream Cane for Luna. REM Rod. Now she'll lose her range, but she'll have more attack power. That's something you may want to think about about getting. And we'll end up trying it out. If we have the money. <laughs> Uh, definitely going to go ahead and buy and equip Alex with the saber and sell the broadsword. Thank you very much. Come again. Hello. Are you the latest batch of students from the Magic Guild? How can I help you? Oops. At this shop, we can buy some pendants. Crystal Pendant, increased spiritual power, which increases defense wisdom by a lot. It would increase attack. Let's look at Luna, who doesn't have a uh, accessory on. Devil Pendant, which increases magic resistance. So wisdom gives you more power. The Devil Pendant gives you more defense. Uh, both cost 12k, which you probably don't have. But just keep them in mind. Uh, Starlight. Can also be bought here. Holy water, which as it said, recovers conditions, it does what it says. I believe it removes all conditions. I think it does, such as poison, paralysis, uh, burn, things like that. Angel's tear, which revives vain characters, and dragonfly wing. So those are the two item shops in vain. I believe that's all there is. Where we came from. Uh, let's go ahead and gear up Alex. I'll go ahead and get him the chainmail. Don't need the iron armor. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and buy the silver shield. Make some of the money back. Okay, it's one of the others. The silver bracelet or the silver shield. The silver shield gives more defense, but is a tad bit more pricey. Uh, just go with the silver shield. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and give Luna the magic robe. Which is better than the regular robe. <laughs> that makes sense, right? And that's it from this shop. So that should do. Okay, grab a quick save. And we'll continue on. I believe those are all the shops in vain. So you have the item shop with more healing items. You have a weapon shop. Uh, the shop with the pendants and the starlight and an armor shop have you visited our magic library i think it's even more magnificent than the guild maybe they have some books about dragons alex yeah, maybe so the power of magic is never to be underestimated and never to be abused in the hands of an expert, magic is far deadlier than the mightiest sword. I don't know about that. I'm a huge fan of magic myself. But don't dismiss swordplay. Alex is pretty darn good at it. 
Our head libra librarian estimated that it would take a hundred years to read every book in the library. But I'm told that Galleon has read almost all of them. Don't ask me how, but he did. Alex would fall asleep after three pages. <laughs> you can read this book a hundred times over. You can study the history of magic for decades. But unless and until you use magic in a combat situation, you'll never know the true extent of your skill. Dragon magic is perhaps the most powerful magic of all. But it can be used only by the one who proves worthy of protecting the goddess. When our world was newborn, an evil force called the Vile Tribe tried to conquer it. Uh, these books give you some very nice background information, so I'm going to go through them. They were banished by the goddess to the faraway frontier at the edge of our world. The Vile Tribe has not been seen since, leading many to conclude that they have died out. Uh, I'll put an annotation, or Baby Dragon will put an annotation to the time that we're through with all the books in case you don't want to listen to all of it. The Vile Tribe was a band of foul creatures which knew only of hate and destruction. Without the intervention of the goddess, they would have had their wicked way with our world. Intermediate Magic Spells, Volume 3, Controlling Flame. Huh. The goddess Althena is blessed with the gift of immortality. Forever will she protect, guide, and cherish us. Oops, haven't read that one. If magic is the flesh of our world, then the goddess Althena is its soul. It is the goddess who created this world in which we live. Vain serves as both a place of magic and an airborne guardian of the goddess Althena. Of course, the day will never come when the home of the goddess is besieged by evil. Of course not! <coughs> No mere human is allowed to enter Althena's tower and gaze upon the goddess herself. That honor is reserved exclusively for the Dragon Master. A small number of magicians believe that Althena has entered into a sleep of sorts, but we are unsure as to when or if she will reawaken. Alex, someone hid money in this book. Score! And you get till 10 silver. Hooray. Enough with the intellectual act, Alex. <laughs> well, I'm curious and all. Magic is the stuff that created our world, and which holds it together. There must also be magic in the sea and the sky. Name any Dragon Master, and you can hear a hundred different tales of their incredible adventures. Leon, the mighty Gale, who fought his foes with the blinding force of a hurricane. Gaul, the Iron Hand, who could fell the largest man with a single swing of his granite fists. Alicia and Lachisha, twin sisters who proved that two is better than one. Nato, the singing swordsman who often burst into song while decimating his enemies. Hmm. Any book that doesn't mention dying right away isn't worth reading. Right, Alex? <laughs> oh, but you gotta know the other Dragon Masters, too. The mysterious disappearance and presumed death of Dragon Master Dine occurred 15 years ago, but the countless theories and endless speculation about what really happened continues unabated. The last person seen with Dine, Master Galleon, refuses to speak about the Dragon Master. Some think it is out of respect for his fallen friend. Others believe he has something to hide. The same spell, cast by two magicians, will have a slightly different appearance and effect. Magic is as unique to each person as his face or his fingerprints. The blue star is colder than the coldest heart, a barren orb encased within a thick layer of ice. Make sure this bookcase. We have yet to understand why the blue star always shows us the same face. I don't get it either. The Dragon Master is granted the use of the Dragon Armor. 
the finest protective plating ever crafted, reinforced with the magic of the dragons themselves. But the armor is only given after the Dragon Master passes all of the Dragon Trials. Hmm. So maybe someday Alex will get the Dragon Armor. Nothing here. A Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume 3, The Spirit of the Sky. It's really neat that they have all this additional information here about the world, about some backstory, about the dragons and magic. It's really neat. That way you can really get into the world of Lunar if you want to. Dragon magic is the ultimate combination of heart, mind, and soul. To witness dragon magic is to witness a sorcery with strength equal to the goddess herself. Wow, dragon magic sounds really powerful, as it should be. A Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume 1, The Spirit of Fire. A Beginner's Guide to Magic, Volume 2, The Spirit of Water. Now they should have had that different, should have had them in order. So, Spirit of the Sky, Fire, Water. Oh, they should have had Volume 4 here. We owe our health, our wealth, and our very existence to the Goddess. She cannot be praised enough. The Dragon Master utilizes the power of his own magic and of the dragons to protect the goddess from harm, and to maintain peace in our world. He is the ambassador of all humanity. Wow, that's... <laughs> the Dragon Master has a lot of responsibility along with his power. Intermediate Magic Spells, Volume 8, Goodbye to Grass Stains. <laughs> that's an intermediate spell? Wow. Oh, grass stains are hard to get to get out, but an intermediate spell? At the edge of this world is a region where the blue star has never shone, and where the touch of the goddess has never been felt. Athena's tower is where the goddess makes her home in our world. She looks upon her children and smiles down at us. Overconfidence is the greatest enemy of a student of magic. And I really need to grab this book and hand it to Nash. Attempting to cast a spell without completely understanding it inevitably leads to disaster. As they embraced, Jane's heaving bosom pressed firmly against John's man. Wow. <laughs> Sweet Rose as... Alex, I think someone filled this, filed this in the wrong library. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> When the goddess shaped our planet, not even her enormous power could reach the distant frontier. Really? And so it remained a wasteland even as the world around it blossomed forth with new life. Hmm. I wonder why. Hi. Oh man, this book is great! It says that the Dragon Master commands the power of four enormous dragons! She become the Dragon Master by entering each dragon's cave and passing their trials. But the catch is that no one knows where the dragons are. <laughs> Good way to screen out the pretenders, huh? I guess that means you're a contender, Alex. Yeah, I guess so, we already have one. If magic disappeared from our world, it would become a place of chaos and death. According to legend, we once lived on the Blue Star. But no one knows how or why we now live in this world. I wonder if that's why I feel so strange when I look at the blue star. Hmm, maybe so, Luna. One popular folk remedy for a headache is to paste a fillet of pickled fish onto one's forehead. While repeatedly chanting, I am the Eggman! I am the Walrus! Perhaps, unsurprisingly, this does not work. <laughs> No, I don't see it working. Ride a broom in three days. Guaranteed to work or you'll suffer an incredibly painful fall. <laughs> As you can see, you have some different books here other than the ones for magic. Beginner's Guide to Magic. Volume 4. Hangover Remedies. Hmm. This world was a dead star until it was touched by the goddess. Where there was darkness, 
she brought light, and where there was death, she brought life. The frontier is a sprawling wasteland on the outskirts of our world. No one brave or foolish enough to venture into the frontier has ever returned. Vain is the place in which our knowledge of the magical arts is kept, and in which that knowledge is taught to each new generation of mages and priests. Welcome to the Guild Library! We have books on every aspect of magic, and every subject known to mankind. Yeah, every subject, apparently. Unfortunately, with all the new volumes we've received, it's hard to keep track of them all. Do you children need work? I'm always looking for alphabetizers. I bet they have all kinds of neat stuff in here, Alex, but where do we start? Uh, where I started, probably from like the bottom left and then work your way up, or vice versa. Anyway, there's the magic library and all the information within. Uh, really cool if you ask me. Mia Asua is the only daughter of Lamia Asua, leader of the guild. She's quiet and shy, but she's also very graceful and beautiful. She has no lack of suitors. I hope we get to meet this girl soon, Alex. Me too. <laughs> Alex, don't forget the reason we came to Vane. Uh -huh. Kind of piped up there just a little too... Too enthusiastically, Alex. <laughs> this big building must be what we're looking for. Hey, Nash. Hello, Alex. Glad you finally made it. What do you think of Vane? Breathtaking, isn't it? Galleon is occupied at the moment, so I'll escort you to the parlor. Parlor. Actually, we'd rather look around the Magic Guild, wouldn't we, Alex? Actually, yes. Alright then, suit yourselves. Luna, would you also care to wander the Guild's halls? Perhaps later, but right now, sitting down and getting off my feet sounds wonderful. <laughs> then I'll just have to give you a private tour of the Magic Guild sometime, Luna. Alex, come on upstairs whenever you're ready to meet with Gallion. All right. <laughs> Alex, this place is huge. I hope we don't get lost. <laughs> I'll come for you when Galleon is ready. If you need anything in the meantime, Luna, please let me know. Thank you, Nash. I will. Beautifully, sir. But may I ask how you came to learn that melody? Dine composed that melody when he was a boy, before he became the Dragon Master. Dragon Master Dine wrote that? Alex never told me. Why am I always the last person to know these things? Now, now. I'm certain this Alex probably was just unaware of the piece. 
No need to get unnecessarily upset. It doesn't become you. You must be a new student here at the guild, and quite a fetching one at that. What? Oh no, I don't have any magic abilities. I've traveled here with Alex. He's on a quest to become the Dragon Master. We already met Quark, the White Dragon. And we're here to learn the locations of the other three. What about you? Perhaps you're on a quest of your own. You may not even realize what you're searching for. Or at least, not yet. I can't really get Galleon's voice. <laughs> oh no, I'm not... Wait, the dream. Hmm? I keep having the same dream. But it doesn't quite feel like a dream. And it doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to ramble on with someone I just met. Don't apologize. Everyone wants to understand themselves and to know who they are. But not everyone is prepared for what they ultimately discover. I... Are you prepared for your journey of discovery? Uh, I think I need to sit down. I feel weak. Where should we go first, Alex? Hmm, great question, no? Man, this is the cushiest assignment in the guild. Lamia holds meetings about as often as I get breaks. Which is to say, never. <laughs> this is the Grand Hall of the Magic Guild. The future of Vayne is decided within these walls. Special guests of the guild are also greeted here. And it's just saying that to wait here. Hey, classroom. Hmm. Can't seem to talk with this person. Oh, there we go. Settle down, children. I have to take attendance. Excuse me? You must be looking for another classroom. Although you certainly aren't properly dressed for school. What? You aren't students? Then why are you interrupting me and disrupting my class? I bet this teacher's so evil that her students bring her puppies to eat instead of apples. <laughs> the students in this class were chosen by an elite committee which included Master Gallon himself. The strongest wizards of tomorrow are being molded here today. You become a dragon master? That could be the funniest thing I've ever heard. Only a person with a proper education can become the dragon master, country boy. <laughs> Alex doesn't need education. He has skill and heart. Please don't disturb me. I have to concentrate on my studies. If my grades approve, perhaps I'll be recognized by Galleon too. Your friends in Nash? <laughs> I'm sure he's told you about his crush on Mia Asua. Ah, Nash is one of those uh, mini suitors, apparently. But he doesn't have a chance. Mia is the next guild master. Nash is just a struggling student. He has to get his head out of the clouds and focus on reality. Like passing next week's exam. <laughs> Your words are like music to my ears. <laughs> hmm, apparently Nash isn't all he's cracked up to be. Uh, these are Mia's private quarters. No visitors allowed. At least that's what Lamia ordered. But why don't you kids go inside and say hello? I think she could use the company right now. Wow, he might be an awful guard, but he's a pretty nice guy. Well, let's say hi to Mia. Who's, who's there? go to the magic school today. I'm not feeling well. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I mistook you for a messenger of my mother's. Um, my name is Mia. Mia Ausa. May I ask your name? Ausa. Sorry for butchering your last name this whole time. Ausa. I'm so going to forget that. Ausa. Oh, I hope you haven't asked I haven't asked you anything too personal. It's just that it's been so long since I met someone who wasn't in the Magic Guild. So hopefully you'll forgive my curiosity. I'm Nal. This is Alex. Sorry about barging in. We came here to talk to Galleon, who's going to tell us where to find the dragons. He couldn't talk to us right away, so we decided to explore the guild. And that's when we found you! <laughs> You're looking for the dragons? How exciting! <laughs> it is! But we've only found the white dragon so far. Hey, why don't you come along with us? I know you'd have a lot of fun! I adventure Me? No, uh, I'm sorry. It's not permitted, I'm afraid. You can't? Oh, uh, well, I had to ask. I mean, what adventurers wouldn't want a beautiful girl by their side? <laughs> Thank you, Nal. I'm flattered. Wow, you're even cuter with a smile on your face. Isn't she, Alex? <clears throat> oh, stop it. Uh oh Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing in here? How dare you enter Mia's room without permission? Who do you think she is? You're not allowed to speak to her, much less violate the sanctity of her bedchamber. I think this is the most fired up we've seen Nash. Apparently he really likes Mia. Mia is the daughter of Lamia and the future leader of the Magic Guild. Nash, these people aren't... I apologize for this, Mia. I should never have let these slovenly hicks wander around the guild unsupervised. I take full responsibility for this invasion of your privacy, and I beg your forgiveness. Nash, will you please? I will see you now. Come, quickly! Bye, Mia. Take care. Do I have to spell it out for you two? Quickly! <laughs> Jeez, Nash. Goodbye. That's not the right way. Crystal Tower and the Star Shrine are two of the most sacred places in all of Vane. Absolutely no one is allowed inside the tower without permission from Lamia Asua herself. Besides, don't you kids have classes to attend? Turrency is the fastest way to get expelled from the guild. But we're not students, we're tourists. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mia is in line to be the next guild master. She just doesn't have the qualities of leadership. Many members of the council are worried that we wouldn't be able to rely on her in a crisis. Mia will become the best guild master of them all. I guarantee it. You didn't hear this from me, but Lamia's been acting like a complete freak lately. I think she should step aside and allow Galleon to run things until her mental condition is cured. I agree. A vacation is exactly what she needs. With him as our leader, she might even decide on a permanent vacation. Hmm. Oh, there's Luna. Alex, where were you? Kelly has been waiting for several minutes. They wandered into places where they should most definitely not have been, Luna. We made friends with a girl called Mia, or named Mia. We'll introduce her, you to her if you like. Of course, no. You know I love meeting new people. Why don't you people focus your attention on the business at hand? You've been granted an audience with Galleon, the great sage of the Magic Guild. Why don't you meet him first? Uh, good point. 
Master, these are the adventurers I mentioned to you earlier. Alex, Luna, and Nall. It's him. Welcome to the Magic Guild of Vane, Alex of Berg. I am Galleon, Premier of the Guild. My apprentice Nash speaks quite highly of you, boy. He said you passed the trial of the White Dragon. If that's true, perhaps you can help me. Um, maybe? Nash also said you seek to become the next Dragon Master, boy. Looking at your frail form, I frankly cannot imagine it. What do you mean? Alex is more than strong enough! But I can sense the magical ability lurking within you. And within Luna as well. Why don't you give up your misguided quest for the dragons? You are far better suited to taking up the study of magic here at the guild. It might not be as exciting as roaming the land, but you shall certainly live longer. Study magic. No, really want to become the Dragon Master. That's what Alex wants to be. Not going to quit. That's a kind offer, Galleon. But I haven't spent my life dreaming of becoming a student. I've dreamt of being the next Dragon Master, and now I can realize those dreams. You certainly seem to have made up your mind. I applaud your determination. But I've heard rumors that a Dragon Master has already been born in the town of Lan. I'd like you to investigate this Dragon Master for me and determine his legitimacy. Or lack thereof. My steward will tell you the rest. Nash, you will go with Alex. Assist him in any way you can. Yes, Master Galleon. When we wet met before, why didn't you tell me who you were? There was no need, Luna. Besides, it was a pleasure to speak to someone with an appreciation for my music. Someday, perhaps you will allow me to hear yours. Guild has heard reports from Lan of a man claiming to be the Dragon Master. There have also been conflicting reports that the man possesses one of the dragons. Galleon requests that you travel to land with Nash to see if this man is who he claims to be. Okay. This looks like a diary, Alex. But I better read through it just to be sure. No, put that down before I slap your paw. I certainly hope you haven't been looking in my diary. Can I get around? Yes. If the Dragon Master in land turns out to be real, ask him to return with you to Vane. I have a great many questions for Althena's new protector. Not to mention a bit of unfinished business with the previous Dragon Master. Hmm. Civilians of this city take the magic course for granted, but if this city is ever in real danger, they'll, they'd start singing our praises to the goddess. It's a thankless job. Oh, sorry to hear that, guard. Let's see, can we go this way? Yeah. Lamia's classroom has been turned into living quarters for her new best friend, Royce. She treats Royce better than her own daughter, Mia. It's a disgrace. Hmm... Who it is? I'm told you're departing to land to look into what could be a dragon master. I could spare you the danger and tell you what will happen on your journey. Don't you get it, Lice? We don't believe in your fake fortune telling. Royce, you stupid feline! I see much pain in your future if you don't start getting it right. <laughs> Ooh, 
Well. Apparently Mia is being neglected. Maybe that's why she was crying. If so, poor Mia. Before we leave, and at the same time in this episode, one more time. Are you sure you don't want to go with us, Mia? Huh? Hello, Alex. This must be Luna. How do you do? Alex and Nal told me a lot about you. Nice to meet you too, Mia. And don't listen to a word they say, especially Nal. Jeez. <laughs> no, it's quite all right. I love hearing their stories, and I'd love to hear yours too. Please come and visit me again whenever you have the time. We definitely will, Mia. Hmm. Oops. Well, apparently... No. Apparently she really is... You know, going to, going to stay here and not go on the adventure. Even though Null asked her a few times. That's a shame. Oh, I think this episode has gone on quite long enough. I just wanted to get through a lot of the cutscenes and uh, talking and things like that. Let's see, where is the... Because I didn't see the shrine here on the first look through the town to heal. Not there. Because, uh, Alex certainly could use it. Uh, Luna got a full heal. There we go. That's where you can find the, the goddess statue. One more thing. Yes, he can have the fruity bandana, which we will equip and buy. And also a magic rope. We'll sell off his bandana. And the robe. I believe he also wears the... Yeah, he can't use the silver shield, but he can use the silver bracelet. So we'll buy and equip him with that. There we go. And he already has the fire cane from the shop, but... Just to show you if you didn't buy it before. He can't use the dream cane, but he can use the fire cane. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and buy it and equip it just to, just to show you. selling herb. Okay. Now with that, I'm going to save and end the episode here. So I really hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun. We saw a lot of history and about the world in the, in the library, which was really neat. And you also saw a uh, Galleon and learned of what we're going to be doing next. You'll be heading to this town of land and see if they really have a Dragon Master. Are Alex's hopes going to be dashed and he'll have to do something else? Well, we'll see. Uh, also, Nash is level uh, 13 when he comes uh, to the party. He knows Confusion, of course, Stone, and Thunderbomb. Confusion does exactly what it says, hits a zone, and confuses the enemy. All of Magic's uh, spells hit a zone, like Alex's explosion staff. And we'll see those abilities next time when we get into some fights. So, until then, again, hope you had a lot of fun, hope you enjoy. I'm Cinder A9, remember to shoot for the stars, and take care everyone.